Hi guys! Welcome back to Crafty Kids! In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really easy paper erasable weight machine. So this is a very easy way of making a paper weight machine and it is useful too. Uh, so I've already posted a video on my channel about how to make a paper height measuring device. So you guys can even see that video if you want to learn how to make it. So this is, uh, yeah, so I said it's erasable. And so uh, over here I'm just going to take a marker and you can write whatever weight you want. So for example, I'm going to write 21 kgs over here. And now you can just erase it like this using your finger and you can write any weight you like. Uh, so this is a really easy craft and it's a cool craft uh, as well. So you can gift it to your friends and family members and uh, for your little children or little cousins and you can uh, play it with your dolls and for any other use. So now without any further delay, let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really easy craft. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a video. So now let's get started. So get started, we're just going to take one piece of paper for the weight machine so as i took red for this i'm taking red again and we're also going to be needing a small white piece of paper like this so you can take uh, any other color combination according to the colors you chose <coughs> so the first step is that i'm just going to be opening this piece of paper like this and i'm just going to be cutting out a little bit piece of part that i made for this craft so like uh, i'm just going to be cutting out a little portion because we don't need any other excess parts I'm keeping everything aside and I'm only taking this much, so it's really this much. So the next step is that I'm just going to be drawing some few lines. So I'm not going to be needing a ruler, so if you guys want to take a ruler for drawing this. So what you're going to do is that we're just going to be drawing like a big one, like like a big rectangle. Then we're going to be separating into two, like we're just going to draw the markings for the machine. So to get started, I'm just going to be drawing one big line like this. So you can use a ruler as I said. So next step is that I'm just going to be drawing one more line over here. Then I'm going to be drawing one more line to the bottom over here. <clears throat> so the next step is that I'm just going to be drawing one more line over here. And I'm going to draw in one line on this side. Now I'm going to draw in one at the top. And one on the bottom. And now we're just going to draw in one more line on this side of the paper. And at last, we're going to draw one last line on this side. So, I'm going to draw one more line over here in the center as well to uh, separate it into two parts. And so, once we completed this, I'm just going to be cutting this out. So, as I said, you guys can use a ruler if you like. So, I'm just going to be cutting out according to the last boundary we made, like this. So, you can make it according to any size of the machine you like. If you want, you can make it bigger or smaller or anything. <clears throat> so, now we've got this. So, now... We'll be having like a middle line over here so we're just going to be cutting this part out like this so the next step we're going to be doing is that i'm just going to be cutting one line over here on this piece of paper like this now i'm cutting one piece of paper over here on this side one over here and one over here <clears throat> so once we completed this i'm just going to be folding it over here so i'm going to be folding this part in and this part inwards and this one inside and uh, I'm also going to be folding this one inside. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be folding this inwards part over here. And I'm going to fold in this folded part inside and this one over here and the last piece inside. So we're supposed to be repeating the same step for this one as well. So I'm just going to be cutting it over here at the edges as we did for this one. So please do this slowly and do not make any mistakes or it won't turn as well. So if you're a small child, please ask your parents to show you saying as so. So I'm just going to be repeating the same steps. So I'm just going to be folding these pieces of paper and I'm going to be folding them inside as we did for the previous ones. So please wait a sec until I complete this. So now we've completed this. The next step we're going to be doing is I'm going to take a glue bottle and I'm going to be applying some glue over here on this piece of paper like this. So once we completed this, I'm just going to be folding this over here inwards and I'm going to be sticking it over here. So now after we stick it, I'm just making it nice and strong. So we have to be doing the folds really perfectly. So now one side is ready. So now we're just going to be doing the same step for all the corners. So I'm just going to be applying some glue for all the folded pieces over here. And now we can stick it slowly like this. So now I'm going to folding it for this one. And at last for the side. 
So when I'm going to be having a cute box, so I'm just going to keep this aside and I'm going to be putting the same stuff on the side of the paper. So please wait a second till I complete applying the glue. So now we've done applying glue, so I'm just going to be sticking this piece of paper inwards over here, this one outside, <clears throat> this one inside and the other pieces as well. So please wait for a while so you guys can glue it in the meanwhile. So now after we complete this, I'm just going to be taking the other piece of paper we had and I'm going to be keeping it in the bottom and I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be closing this. So you have to do this slowly so do not do it in a hurry. So we're just going to be making the box like this and I'm sliding it inside and I'm going to turn it to the opposite side. So please make sure it goes perfectly inside and we're keeping it over here. So next we're just going to be taking some tape. So after we take some tape, I'm just going to be securing it at the edges so that it does not come off. So you can take any tape you like. So if, you, if your box is strong, you do not have to take tape. If it's not strong, you can just take tape for securing it just for safety purposes. So now I'm just going to be turning it to the back part and I'm going to be sticking this over here. And now I'm just going to turn it over here and I'm going to be sticking it at the top here as well. So now I'm just going to be putting the same step on this box as well. So we just have to press on it slowly and make it stick. So now it's completely stuck. So next we're going to be making it waterproof. So I've already told you that. So we'll do that step once we completed this leg part. So for this I'm just going to be taking the white piece of paper we had. So now I'm just going to be now opening it since it's kind of big. So now I'm just going to be folding, cutting out a small piece of paper from this, like this. So now I'm just going to be folding this piece of paper in half over here and I'm going to be cutting out like a leg-like structure. So it does not have to be perfect, you can do it like any shape or size you like. So like this, you can cut out like leg-like structure. So now we're just going to be sticking it over here, like for keeping the leg. So. I'm just going to be applying some glue over here on these two sides and I'm going to be sticking this piece of paper over here. So once we completed that, I'm just going to be taking this piece of paper again and I'm going to be cutting out a really small rectangle. So a rectangle piece of paper like this. So if you want, you can take like in a bigger size. So if you want, uh, if you feel like it's kind of small, you can take it in a bigger size. So as you see, here I took it small and here I took it big. Since it's your own weight machine, it's not compulsory that you have to do it in this size. You can take it in any size you like. So now I'm just going to be applying some glue over here at the top part. And now I'm going to see this small piece of paper over here. So now our weight machine is almost ready. We just have to do some final touchings to it. So for that, I'm just going to be taking the black sketch pen again. And I'm just going to be leaving small outlines over here. So it's not compulsory that you have to do it. If you want, you can do it to decorate it. If you do not want, you can just leave it as it is. So now after we complete this, I'm just going to be taking some more tape. So uh, you can take uh, any tape as I said, just doesn't matter. So if you do not want to make it waterproof, it's not compulsory that you have to take tape. Like uh, if you just want to make it like for a model or something, you don't have to use tape. So for example, if you want to use it for playing and if you want to like a uh, terminate playing it in like a uh, doctor set or something, you could use tape. So now I'm just going to be taking a big piece of tape and I'm just going to be cutting it. So now I'm just going to be taking this tape and I'm just taking this on the weight machine that we need. So do not apply too much force. Just press on it slowly like this and just secure it at the edges. So now we've completely stacking it and our weight machine is ready. So you can give outlines, take it, you can do anything you like. So for example, you could draw one line here. You could just give it like a boundary here and anything. So you can use it for like writing something. So now you can just keep your doll or any toy on top of it and you can write any weight you like. So for example, 27 kgs, like this. So if you want to change the weight, you can just like erase this and you can write anything you like. So you can use your own creativity and it can use any way you like. So after we complete this, our EC paper weight machine is ready. So this is a really easy craft and useful craft uh, as well. So you can use it for your know, science projects or anything and you can use it for playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. So before I conclude, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you'll receive a notification whenever I upload the video. So if you have any ideas about what I should post on my channel, don't forget to comment in the comment box. So I'll see to your comments and respond to them as soon as possible. So if you have any doubts in my videos as well, you can comment that as well. I'll clarify your doubts as soon as possible. So uh, that's the end of my video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. 
Thank you for supporting me and my channel and thank you for watching this video. Bye!